walking on the front legs, one of the coolest dog training behaviors out there. But how can you train this to your dog? Well, if you look it up, you're going to see that most trainers will tell you to teach your dog to back up to a wall and then teach him to go forward on the front legs. Pretty simple, right? Well, if you're a very good trainer and if you have a very good dog, then it can be pretty simple. But for the average dog owner, it can be very difficult. I've known a lot of people that try this technique to back up the dog to a wall and they cannot get the dog off the wall. And if they do, they just get a few steps forward with the tuck tail and arch back. That's pretty ugly. Hi, I'm Omar Van Mueller, proud owner and trainer of the internet sensation, Jumpy the Dog. If you don't know him, just Google his name and you're gonna see some really cool videos. For many years, I've been developing my own training techniques and studying different ways to get the best results on many behaviors. On this video, I'm gonna show you a technique that I developed and I am sure a lot of people should be able to teach your dogs to walk on the front legs safely and with great motivation. Before we start, I want to make sure that you understand that this behavior takes time to teach it right. We need to build the core of the dog. If we don't, we'll end up with something like this. Hanging legs, tuck tail, arch back. This is a sign that the dog was taught way too fast without building the dog's core. Not a very comfortable position for this dog to be in. Do you want to become a professional dog trainer? I can help you. With over 35 years of experience in many dog training fields, I can teach you how to train dogs, how to train humans to handle their dogs, how to use many different techniques that work with different temperament and problem dogs, how to promote yourself so you can succeed in this awesome field, and much more. Contact the email on the screen and I will tell you all the details. We're going to start with a traditional backup to a wall routine. Of course, before you do anything, you need to teach your dog to back up. Next, I like to take my dogs to a place where there's a stairwell and teach the dog to back up into the stairs. For now, I'm using apple boxes. You can use any kind of props that you desire. If you have a smaller dog, you can use smaller boxes or you can even stack up books. Teach the dog to back up up into the stairwell. You can start with one step, then two steps, then go up three steps, four steps, even five steps, just to make sure that the dog feels comfortable doing it. Now let's get ready to stack up boxes. We're gonna start with one, and then we're gonna go a little bit higher. Very good, a little bit higher. And this will be the highest for Lucy. That's as high as she can go. That's totally flat. That, that will be just like backing up into a flat wall. Now we're going to remove the boxes and we're going to have the dog back up straight into a wall. And we're going to repeat this over and over and over again until it becomes very natural for the dog. Now we're going to start using marks. If you're not familiar with marks, do a little research on it or you can go to my website and you can order my DVD on how to train marks. The idea is to teach the dog to hold the front legs on the mark and keep the rear legs up against the wall. And then slowly but surely, we're going to start moving the marks back and closer to the wall. That way, we'll bring the dog into a nap right position. Now we're going to teach the dog to walk the wall. We're going to use marks. In the beginning, you're going to have very close. And then slowly but surely, you're going to start stretching the distance to a point where the dog feels comfortable walking from side to side. I want to do this as much as possible because we really need to build the core of the dog and this is a very powerful exercise. Do you want to do more with your dog than just heel sit down and stay calm? Well, there are hundreds of behaviors that we can teach our dogs. Not only they get smarter, but they get to spend a huge amount of positive time with their masters. A kind of life that most dogs can only dream about it. Shoot me an email for details. You're not imagining things. This is a table on its side. You can use any kind of prop you like. Use your imagination. You can use plywood or anything. The idea is to have something that looks like this table that it will be able to block the dog from coming forward. You're gonna keep the table away from the wall. This is something that the dog has been doing for a long time. He's been building up his core. This is something very, very natural for the dog. And you don't wanna push it in too close because you don't wanna freak the dog out. So you're gonna just keep doing this over and over and over again, building up the core and make the dog feel very comfortable doing this. Now we'll move the table closer to the wall. 
Like you can see, the dog is not walking sideways that much anymore. She has to kind of turn towards the front. This will keep building the core up. Now the dog is more in an upright position. Now the table is even closer. Lucy makes this look very, very easy. And the reason why is because she's been doing this for a long time. Make sure that you take your time. This is not to be taught overnight. And make sure that the dog gets plenty of rewards so the dog feels comfortable and very motivated. Wow, that's right next to the wall. Now Lucy has no chance on walking sideways. She has to go completely straightforward. Now the core of the dog is getting stronger and stronger. Looking back months ago, when this was something that it was not natural for the dog to do, now it starts to become natural. Now I'm gonna use a step ladder. Why? Because it's longer. We need distance. We're gonna use the same technique. We're gonna keep the ladder away from the wall so the dog feels comfortable doing it. We're gonna move the ladder closer to the wall just the same way we did with the table. The reason why I like this ladder is because I can stretch it and use it as a prop to teach the dog to go farther. Do you want to become a professional dog trainer and handler for the TV and movie industry? With over 20 years in the motion picture industry, I can help you to become the best you can be, so you can start to work on this very rewarding field. Shoot me an email for details. Alright, time to get this dog off the wall. Well, it shouldn't be so hard now that the dog has a very strong core and he's been doing this walk a wall for quite a bit. What you see me doing with my hands is that now I'm starting to manipulate this dog. I'm starting to tell her, to show her, this is what I want you to do. Once I see that the dog starts to retract her legs, to bring her legs high, that means that the dog is understanding that that's what I want her to do. And I will keep repeating this over and over and over again. I'm going to show you three different ways to get this dog off the wall. The first one is to start moving the second mark off the wall. Start guiding the dog, show him what you want. You can use your hand and keep the manipulating going on, show her where you want it to go, and lots of praise, a lot of treats. Start moving the mark a little bit farther away now. Show her where the treats are and go again. Now let's see if she's gonna do it on her, on her own. Yeah, there she goes. Not perfect, but it was fine. A little farther away, there she goes, 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 go. Perfection, very, very good. The second one would be to put a piece of plywood or some type of object to guide the dog away from the wall. This is actually working pretty good. In the beginning, don't expect it to be totally perfect, but then just keep trying and trying slowly, one step at a time. You still use your manipulation, use your hand and help the dog, lots of praise. Use different toys and rewards. On this one, as the dog jumps off the table, you have your hand ready to guide the dog towards where the treats are. I like to use toys as a reward because it really motivates the dogs to do a lot of really cool stuff. As you can see Lucy, she's big into balls and toys. You might be asking, why are you doing it from behind and not calling the dog to you? Well, actually calling the dog to you, it's a lot easier, but I like to teach my dogs to go in the direction that I need them to go, not just towards me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and put it to practice. Send me videos, I would love to see what you're doing. And if you want to learn how to train dogs or just sharpen your skills, give me a call. My information is right here.